Canada was only six days old when, on July 7, 1867, crowds gathered at the Lennoxville Quebec Railway Station to glimpse a man who knew a little something about starting countries. Jefferson Davis, the man who had led the American South in its disastrous quest to become an independent nation. Fresh from a U.S. jail, he had come to visit his son at college. Canada had had a weird relationship with the slaveholding South. On the one hand, it was the promised land for thousands of escaped slaves. On the other, it had spent the entire Civil War as a base for Confederate agents. John Wilkes Booth himself had been strolling the streets of Montreal only a few months before assassinating Abraham Lincoln. In an impromptu speech to the cheering crowd, the former slaveholder paid homage to the freedom of the Canadians and their new country, which would turn out to be much more long-lasting than his own. I trust you will ever remain as free a people as you are now, and that under the union of your provinces you will grow great and prosperous as you are free.